Nimadonga ma atong morotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 10. Meaningful parts with more than one form. In this lesson, we will see that some meaningful parts have more than one form. We will then focus on one meaningful part and look at the situations in which its different forms are used. If you don't know what meaningful parts are, I suggest you watch lesson 6 first. You can watch it now by clicking on this link over here. As you may have noticed already, some meaningful parts have more than one form. For example, some people say dao dei and others say dao di. Some people say cheng ku while others say cheng ku. Sometimes somebody will say nuksega bo and sometimes nuksega bo. We call these different forms of a meaningful part its variant forms. And when we make an analysis of a language or a list of meaningful parts, like in a dictionary, the variant forms are separated by a tilde, which is this curly symbol you see here at the bottom of the screen. Both dl, roots, and sok, bound parts, can have variant forms. Some meaningful parts have just two variant forms, while others have more than two. Here we see four different forms of the word meaning big knife. And we see nine different forms of the meaningful part that indicates that some action is going on, the progressive durative part. Some variant forms are quite similar to each other, while others can be very different to each other. Look at the meaningful parts presented here. Some have variant forms that are quite similar, while other meaningful parts have very different or completely different variant forms. After looking at some examples, we clearly see that variant forms are different forms with exactly the same meaning. Now that we know that some meaningful parts have more than one form, we might ask, when do we use the different variant forms? Well, Sometimes it does not matter at all which variant form you use. It does not matter whether you say or write nukaidong a, nukaidong, nukaidok, or any of the forms you see here. Of course, different people or people in different places may have different preferences. Some people may use satiribo more often, while others may prefer satiribo. In some villages, people may use Sangwalok, while in other villages, people may prefer to say awanok. In cases like these, freely using one variant form or the other does not result in wrong language. But sometimes, changing one variant form for the other does result in wrong language. As a native speaker of Atong, you may have made mistakes like that when you were a child. Now, you will automatically use the correct form. But for the spelling of Atong, it is good to be aware of the variant forms that exist of meaningful parts. When someone says or writes Maisaok, everybody will agree that this is wrong. What is the correct form? Say it. Yes, the correct form is of course Maisaak. Can you explain what was wrong with the word saok? You have 10 seconds. The wrong variant form of the sok was used. Instead of the form ok, the form ak had to be used. Why it is like that, we will see later. If you think you know it already, write it down on a piece of paper. Then you can check your answer later. Here is another example of wrong language as a result of using the wrong variant form of a pansok. Churi matanchak is of course wrong. What is the correct form? Tell me. Yes, the correct form is of course churi matanchak with only one letter a. Can you explain to me what was wrong with the word matanchak? You have 10 seconds.
the wrong form of the sok was used again. Instead of the form ak, the form ke had to be used. Last example of wrong language is ceti watetak, which is wrong again. Please tell me the correct word. Yes, of course. The correct word is watetok. Can you tell me in 10 seconds why watetak was wrong? Try it. Again, as we have seen before, the wrong form of the sok was used. Instead of the form ak, the form ok had to be used. So, we have three different forms, ok, ak and ke, with exactly the same meaning. We can say that they are variant forms of the same meaningful part. Ok, ak and ke are the three variant forms of the pansok meaningful part with the meaning or grammatical function change of state. Don't worry about the name of the pansok. As native speakers of Atong, you will use it correctly when you speak, even when you don't know its meaning. I will now answer a question I had announced earlier. When do we use the different variant forms of this meaningful part? We use the variant form ak when the preceding meaningful part ends in a or a raka. For example, in the words saak, betaak, saak, sungdugak, and paak. Remember from the previous video that in cases where two of the same vowels meet, three different pronunciations are possible, but the spelling of the word follows the analysis of its meaningful parts. The variant form k of the change of state pansok is used after the negative sok cha, as for example in the words reingan chak, matan chak, and nuke chak. The variant form ok is used in all other cases. That means when the previous meaningful part is not cha or does not end in a or araka. Examples of the use of the variant form ok we can see in the words Reing tokok, sa manok, and matok. Let's do an exercise to see what you have remembered. You know what to do. Please get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper ready. Exercise. Choose the correct variant form of the meaningful part change of state. You will see sentences with an empty line in them. Under the sentences you will see three words which you can use to fill the empty line. One of these words is correct. Choose the correct word and put it on the empty line. For example, Ningdo walchisa nokchina, empty line. Then under the line you see three words, petak, petak, and petok. Choose the correct word to put on the empty line. The correct form is of course number two, petak. Ningdo walchisa nokchina petak. You get 10 seconds for each sentence and 6 seconds to look at the solutions, so pause this video when necessary. There will be 9 sentences in this exercise. Are you ready? Here we go! Sentence 1. Solution Sentence 2 Solution Sentence 3 Solution Sentence 4 Solution Sentence 5 
solution. Sentence 6. Solution. Sentence 7. Solution. Sentence 8. Solution. Sentence 9. Solution. Exercise Jamok. In this lesson, we have learned that some meaningful parts have more than one form. We call these forms the variant forms of a meaningful part. Variant forms are different forms with exactly the same meaning. Both dull and shock can have variant forms. Some meaningful parts have two and others have more than two variant forms. Sometimes variant forms can be used freely without resulting in wrong language. But individual persons or certain villages may favor some forms over others. The use of the variant forms of other meaningful parts is determined by the meaningful part that immediately comes before it. There are eight panshok in Atong that cannot be used freely. More will be said about them in the next lesson. For now, we will just see a list of them. In the following list, the grammatical functions of all the pansok are indicated. As a native speaker of Atong, you use the meaningful parts correctly in everyday speech without thinking, and therefore it is no problem if you cannot explain the exact meaning or grammatical function of each pansok in a word. Let's have a look at the list. The progressive durative pansok has many variant forms. You see them here. Then there is the focus, which has two variant forms, an and n. The accusative has two variant forms, au and tau. The topic has two, do and odo. The goal shock has na, ona. The imperious future meaningful part has two variant forms also, naka and ka. Then there is the change of state, which we have seen before, which has three different variant forms, namely ok, ak and ke. And last, there is the factative part, which has two variant forms, namely wa and a. In the next video, we will dive a bit deeper into Atong grammar. We will see an overview of the usage and spelling of the variant forms of the eight pansok in the list we just saw. Chegikabakam jamok, chaigaba aumetela, shengabaga nangchido ma atong babal na sikchido, i pidio cha machiga nangaba saigaba hapchi sayaribo, i pidio wa nemnukwachi, like button now shikdebo. Well, now, everybody.